This episode of Comedy Bang Bang is brought to you by Red Dead Redemption 2. From the creators of Grand Theft Auto 5 comes Red Dead Redemption 2, an epic story of honor and loyalty set in the dying days of America's outlaw era and told across the deepest and most expansive rock star world to date. Out now for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on October 26th, Red Dead Redemption 2 is available for purchase at rockstargames.com slash Redemption 2 Rated M for mature. Mother's womb is in full bloom, so father is feeling doom and gloom. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Hmm. All right. Uh, thanks to Call Waiting for Godot for that catchphrase submission, and welcome to Comedy Bang Bang for another edition. All right. The levels sound pretty good. Let's just uh, let's hit record and let's get cracking. Uh, Gino, we've started. Okay, yeah. Did you bad. hear the music? Do you know what music is? Oh, uh, should I put these on? These yeah, headphones? the headphones? Yeah, 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 yeah. Please put the, okay, yeah. Oh, they're with only, the cans on, I can hear everything now. But you're not hearing music because we already played it. <laughs> yeah, I don't hear music. I just hear you talking and I hear myself talking. You now. know music, right? Other than Billy Joel? If what? it's not Billy Joel, would you it's be able to pick out- It still constitutes as music? Okay, let me let me sing something and you'll tell me if it's music or not. Oh my God, not. I've never seen someone get so in their own wheelhouse immediately. <laughs> okay, here we go, ready? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Doesn't sound familiar to me. <laughs> okay, but is it music? <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard it before. How am I supposed to know if it's music or not? Uh, welcome right, to so the show. Uh, welcome. We're, we've already started. Us. Yes. yes. Uh, oh, Excellent. Let's do it again. Uh, welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. My name is Scott Ackerman. I'm the host of the episode over here. Whoops. Pouring waters Spilling is... Spilling waters on the mic. That's not a problem, right? These are waterproof? <laughs> no, these they're are... not. What? I thought they were podcasting for like, you know, no, snorkel pods these are all whatever. hooked up to electrical equipment. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. You didn't know that mics were electric? I see these outlets over here and they're empty, so I assume nothing's plugged yeah, in. Those in here. are just regular asshole outlets. <laughs> oh, you could just. What is an asshole outlet? I don't know. People you put plug three their fingers in and it really starts to work, <laughs> just like a regular <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome to the show. Uh, my, uh, I'm out. You guys, my, you're hosting your thing. My intern up. Gino Lombardo is here. Lombardo or Lombardi? I can't it's Lombardo. Remember. Lombardo, right? Yeah, yeah. What would be the difference between Lombardo and Lombardi? Uh, if you're Lombardi, you have to get into football, and if you're Lombardo, you have to own a small marina in Freeport, New York. <laughs> Very good. And how uh, have you been, Scott? I know we'll get to the actual recording of the episode shortly, but yes. how have you been, man? Uh, but, wow, no one ever asked me that. Uh, I've, I've been all right. I mean, I've uh, been... that's why that's an absolutely fucking boring. <laughs> yes, exactly. Because uh, you talk I've... to interesting people, but yes, you never but say. I'm not an interesting. I don't like to to reveal any sort of information about myself, any kind of personal information. You can comb through all 580 episodes or so, you will never find out anything about me. You're on the record as saying I am not interesting. Yes. Oh, yeah. no, I'm very interesting. I just don't want people oh, to know anything oh, about okay. me. Okay, so you're you. saving that for a whole new podcast, like down the line when Letterman goes on Netflix exactly. and takes these long bearded interviews. You're going to do shit like that. <laughs> you're going to be like, now I'm going to talk to boring people about how interesting I am. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'll find the most boring people <laughs> alive <laughs> and really just spew just info talk their about ear yourself. Off. Yeah, that sounds like a fucking good time. I'd but watch that. In the meantime, let's talk to you, Gino. You're you haven't been on the show in so long. What's, it's been uh, a minute. I've been trying to uh, find some new revenue sources because uh, I'm about. <laughs> to graduate pretty soon from Nassau Community College. I've been radio. wondering. You've been, uh, first of all... Uh, I have over 1,000 credits. <laughs> and none from here, because I, I I feel bad. I cannot give you any credit for the sporadic nature of your work. I know, I know. But due to, like, just, like, child labor laws, um, I'm uh, and adult labor laws, <laughs> yeah. I'm able to... Labor laws across the board. Right. I Because uh, I was a child when I started working here, but now I'm a, um, technically an adult. Right. I not, lost my by, virginity. By the way, oh, uh, wait a minute. So you were over 18? You would just not... Lost your virginity? Yeah, so I'm a child by Long Island standards. Okay, you were a yeah, you were a, a sex child. A sex child, yes. <laughs> that, wait a minute, maybe we should rephrase. <laughs> That's why I got the tattoo that says "sex child." <laughs> oh no, really? <laughs> but now I'm a sex adult. You're a sex adult. Great, yes, congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Who so, was the first? Oh God, forgive me. I cannot remember his or her name. Yeah, their name. Their yes. yes thank that's you very just much. A safer way. Are way you trying to, to protect their identity, or you just really don't know? Yeah, it was a very one of those situations where you know you go into a room at a party, everyone has masks and like cloaks <laughs> on, and then you sort of just present yourself on like a lazy Susan type. Is this situation. a haunted house? I, I'm not positive. I was ju I was a Chinese food delivery guy. I was dropping off some food at this 
party. And then we Wait, you were dressed as one because it was a haunted house? Or? No, 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 no. Okay. I was actually delivering okay, Chinese food it. for Angs and South Merrick. And when I pulled up to this party, it was just a bunch of like eyes wide shut freaks with mm-hmm. like long, like uh, com- Commedia del Arte masks and the fucking judges' robes. The long noses. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. very phallic. I got on a table uh, on all fours. They sort of like covered me in coconut oil and started spinning me around on a lazy Susan and just taking turns eating just, my ass, you know, spit roasting me. Oh, all dear. The, all yeah. right. So that's Gino. when I lost my Virginia. And now that's why I think I know what sex is. <laughs> but <laughs> Because I, I mean, from what you've told me out of the two... <laughs> Uh, examples that you offered. <laughs> Neither of those are technically sex, according to Bill Clinton. <laughs> oh, right. To be fair, yeah, we're going by Clinton. Slow burn. Um, he, uh, here's the thing, though. I've been trying to get other revenue streams going. I've been trying yeah. to... Uh, are you familiar with commercials? They're on television in between programming and stuff? I uh, I tend to skip through them now, but yes, I remember them. Yeah, yes. well, apparently you can make a little bit of money. A lot of big comics are doing it, like uh, mm. Tom Middleditch is doing uh, Oh, Verizon. yeah, he has those Verizons, yeah, yeah that I've yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah, and then some people are doing branded content, but that's bullshit. But, like, mm. Um, what I'm talking about is I'm trying to get Remember the A1 steak sauce commercial? Oh, I, uh, I don't. Hit you right here, hit you right here. Oh, gosh, I don't remember the commercial. Okay, I, well, that then uh, that's what I've been trying to get off the ground is a reboot of that commercial. A reboot. Okay, yeah, because, you know, why, why don't they- A1 steak sauce needs to come back because, you know, Trump's putting ketchup on steak. What the fuck? Let's get the A1 in there. Hit you right here, hit you right here. They reboot television programs. They reboot movies all the time, but yeah. never commercials. They rebooted Mighty Ducks three times. Yeah, well, that was those are sequels. <laughs> Well, every time, I don't know about you, but I got booted again. <laughs> Wait, you got kicked out of the theater during this? I got kicked out, because I can't see Emilio Estevez on screen without cranking off. I got kicked out of Young Guns. I got kicked out of Men at Work. And I was fucking two or three when those movies came out. <laughs> Even as a young lad, I couldn't help but fucking crank down, you know? As a sex child. <laughs> as a sex child. Blood sugar sex child. <laughs> so, uh, 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 so you're trying to get these commercials off I'm trying the ground. To, I'm trying to, I've been shoot, I shot like, uh, you know, 25 uh, 25 episodes of this uh, reboot of 25 the, commercials 25 yeah 25 okay. 30 second episodes of the <laughs> okay. A1 steak sauce commercial about reboot. 12 and a half minutes or so yeah I can't do the math I don't have time I don't have a phone in front of me so because mm. I you know I turn my phone off because I'm a pro Oh, okay. Yeah. You didn't lose it or anything. No, I lost it. <laughs> okay. Where? Have you turned on Find My Phone? The or valet guy like- asked me for keys, and I didn't drive here, so I just handed him my phone. And I don't know if I've, that's what I was supposed to do, but I thought it was like a Dave Chappelle concert up here or something. <laughs> so you just, if he holds his hand out, you you yeah. figure you have to give him something. I just slapped my, T-Mobile, si- slapped my T-Mobile sidekick right in his hand and just <laughs> walked in. All right. Well, he may give that back to you at the end of the day. He hopefully. fucking better. <laughs> okay. I got some Dominican teens I want to text <laughs> okay, look, Gino. So you've how how have you taped uh, twenty five of these commercials? Uh, do you know? Are you familiar with um, like uh, commercial directors? Yeah, uh, yeah. By the way, you can stop asking me if I'm familiar with things. You're saying you're like very basic guy. things. You're like a radio guy, so I'm just wondering if you know because like you, I have watched television. I know about directors. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, yeah so because I watch a ton of television, I didn't know someone was shooting. I thought they were all just real people pretending that they liked Subway sandwiches and stuff. Really? Yeah. Okay. I yeah. know. Would it surprise you to know that uh, in every commercial? Uh, whoever is saying whatever they're saying is very, very nervous. They're about to get fired at all at all times. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. that that kind of that's kind of hot. You <laughs> and know, if, the and idea if it's of ever, like a, a possible fucking issue happening, like I like that. <laughs> if there's ever a couple who are like holding hands or arm around each other, they've just met and they are probably disgusted by each what? other. What? Well, what about the guy who lost all that weight eating Subway sandwiches? He, is he an actor too? Because unfortunately, no. That's one of the few. I don't ones like his that... most recent work. <laughs> I've only seen a few of his most recent things, but yeah. they're upsetting. Yeah, they are. Wait, you saw them? <laughs> yeah, I accidentally was on a weird share drive on the Silk Road. <laughs> okay, you got to scrub your computer. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I have. I finally gave it the bleach dip. <laughs> okay, so you- Now I have a white laptop. You, you've uh, uh, taken the services of a commercial director? And- yes, uh, this guy, Michael Gandry or something like that. And- Michel Gondry? Ah, yes, I knew it was kind of like a gay pronunciation of it. And he- uh, And you can say that in that manner because you are- Bisexual. Yes. Uh, and I don't, I guess, maybe I can even, you know? Yeah, you probably shouldn't. I shouldn't, so even, I'll stay yeah. out of it. But okay, I am a bisexual go. adult sex man. <laughs> <laughs> you are a B-S-A-S-M. <laughs> yes, B-S-A-S-M. That's what my other tattoo says. Because as I've progressed, I crossed off sex child. I didn't have a chance to get a, like, yes. a full, yeah. But yeah, once these commercials get- hit, I'll be getting, what's uh, what's it called? AFTRA. I'll be getting some AFTRA paychecks, and I'll be fucking printing money. Yeah, well, 
I mean, what? you know, those after checks they they dwindle and dwindle until. Oh uh, no no no! This one I needed to hit hard. I mean, fucking. I mean, <laughs> why? What's going on with you? They're trying to shut down. They're trying to bulldoze my mom's house. <laughs> they're trying to bulldoze it. How are yeah. they trying to? It seems like they would they show up with put, a bulldozer and do it or not. Well, my mom is. She's currently. My mom and my is uncle she, Jimmy. Has she chained herself. She's chained to, herself to the front of her house because they want to. Uh, they want to. Um, pave pave it over and, and put up a parking lot. Oh no, the Joni Mitchell special. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I'm not familiar. <laughs> so that what is she chained herself? She's chained herself to the house like a like a bicycle or something. Yeah, I guess like or a lot of different things can be chained, but a bicycle is probably the best example. She's chained yeah. herself like uh, one arm to one set of bay windows, the other arm to another. Right, set so of no bay one steals windows. her. <laughs> yes, yeah, so no one can steal her. And it goes all the way around the house, and you have to go through her legs to like a wheel. Oh yeah. no! So because uh, a lot of people just pop a wheel off a bike if you steal. I don't know yeah. about you. I've got a garage full of fucking mountain bike wheels. I got you a do. GT Dino wheel if you're looking for one. Oh, uh, I'm not. What about I... a mongoose wheel? <laughs> <laughs> I got a mongoose. What wheel. What other types do you Plastic have? Plastic rims, stingray. No. Nope. Do you need a GT mountain bike? No. Nope. Okay, that's all I got. <laughs> so those you only have four, but you I have... have a few car tires too. But I have a oh, multi okay. I have multiple of the because. All those tires come in pairs. Of, of course, yeah. yeah. But the yeah. bicycle tires, they come in singles. They come in pairs like that movie, Call Me By Your Name. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, no, they come in peaches. That was a peach, and, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I get all the fruit confused because, you know, I'm on the keto diet. So I don't oh, I had no fruit. idea. So so you don't know fruits because you don't eat them. Yeah, because I don't have time to learn them once now I've learned all the meats yeah. and vegetables and shit. I don't have room for fruits. Did you used to know them and they've just slipped out of your mind? Like there's, I how, used to what? know fruits, then I learned prepositions and fruits went out of my mind. <laughs> how much space is available in your mind? How uh, much memory would you The way you the say? doctor explained it is that I have a graduated cylinder of about 100 millimeters and I'm just pouring fucking info liquid in there and it's pure, pure my uh, I'm getting no surface tension and shit's just blowing out the top <laughs> so I, sometimes new stuff I'm learning goes in one ear and went out the other ear or sometimes it goes in one ear and pushes some other shit out the other ear right and yeah. I have I've been at fucking weird pus coming out of my ears for a month now. You have, really? And you think that's related to information coming out of your it's ears? It's either that or I rode the Gravtron at the uh, Merrick County Street Fair 1,000 times in one weekend. <laughs> okay, I think it might have been that. <laughs> Why would you do something like that, Gino? Someone dared me. Someone said, there's no way you can handle that G-force a thousand times. I'm like, astronauts do it all the time. I fucking love astronauts. I got this. I mean, what's a thousand times G-force? That's... Uh... Oh, I don't know because it's not... You never hit a thousand G because you yeah. only hit whatever the G is, but I hit it a thousand times. So right, I, I yeah. wrote it. I wrote it nine hours on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then you know I've been having like you know leaky head and uh, yeah. You don't look good. Yeah, you're no. already like a thin, gaunt, sickly looking individual. Yeah, it was really fun for me to be on the, the gravitron as such a small person because I it yeah. would, that thing if you, you can hold just on to the, it away. Yeah, you can hold on to the railing in the middle and then you'll go fucking parallel to the ground and then when you let go you fucking shoot right against the wall. I can't believe they let kids on this fucking thing. <laughs> it's wild. If you puke it. It just fucking blasts, it blasts you back and right back in the face. It's yeah. hot. It's like you know, you know when a chick sucks your dick and okay, then she all spits right, the cum into your mouth. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry, sorry. Let me guess. It's not that kind of show. It's not, Gino. It hits you right here. It hits you right here. And I'm talking about the cum. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh God, Gino. I apologize okay. uh, all right. to all new listeners. Uh, this is not what we talk about every week. Uh, but tell me more. Hey, about I'm these a new listener to this podcast. Let me tune in to episode 541. <laughs> well, really, it happens. Having, I recognize none of these names. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Gino, you've taped 25 commercials. I've taped 25 have commercials. Have you been in touch with the A1 Steak Sauce people? Uh, yeah, they, I have, they've sent me a lot of um, like cease and desist letters. And really? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, so I've ceased, but I haven't desisted. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm not sure how you can just do one or the other. but I thought it's, I, I'm, pos I'm pretty sure it said cease or desist. Yeah, cease and or desist. Yeah, it said cease and, and or desist. <laughs> okay. And you, I chose cease. You chose or. <laughs> so I, I, and now I'm still going to not desist. I'm going to uh, right. prosist. Yeah, hashtag desist. Is it insist? <laughs> What's the opposite of desist? I don't know. I guess reason, uh, desist, no, it would be continue, but- uh, Insist? Uh, resist? Yeah, yeah resist, resist. Are you a resist? <laughs> I've been called that before. <laughs> Yo, is this resist? <laughs> so, that's a good hashtag, too. Yo, is this resist? Oh, yeah. For political well, show. Welcome to the resist. <laughs> yeah, political show on Earwolf Oh, here. you did something remotely human-like? Well, welcome to the resistance. <laughs> yeah. 
so, oh, sick. By the way, about your mother, how long has she been chained to this house? Oh, I don't know. When I left six weeks ago, she was chained, still chained. She there. was still chained, yeah. yeah. Is someone feeding her? Is she on an IV of some sort? Uh, she's on an IV. Some I- sort of hamster thing? Yeah, she, it's all all of the above to answer your question. <laughs> really? Yeah, she's, She just wanted to cover all the bases. Well, she's like, I can't guarantee that the nurse is going to come and change my IV all too frequently. And then she also wanted the gerbil thing just for safety purposes. And then when you say the gerbil thing, are you talking about the Rod Stewart thing? Or oh, the- I'm sorry. You meant like the water bottle. Yeah. 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 yeah no, we got to get her one of those. <laughs> okay. We have been putting a gerbil in her ass and then lighting a fire outside of her asshole to get it to kind of burrow in there. It really helps her with like preventing her bowels from moving because, you know, she's fucking stuck to the house. We don't need her shitting on the fucking storm door. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. You ask these questions. You literally say, is it a gerbil what? up the ass? And then- <laughs> huh? Look, let's get to like some interesting guys. So let's All do right. the t- uh, opening again. All right. Okay, yeah. Engineer, so, roll open. Okay, no, we don't have to do the whole opening again, but we have a great show for people. Are you excited to to have some people on the show? Yeah, I don't know. Who cares? We have a uh, we have royalty coming up on the show. Oh, uh, fuck. That's I exciting. love that shit. And we also have a rope trick uh, expert. Uh, so that's wow. Uh, you know, you can get both of those people in the same room only on this show. <laughs> I know, and some <laughs> jerk off from Long Island. Hey, 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 hey. It's hard to argue. You call me by my title, a jerk off, <laughs> and where I'm from, Long Island. What's going on in Long Island these days? I mean, oh, other than your mom, they're trying to. Are they trying to just a parking lot, like a multi level? Yeah, they're going to build a huge parking lot because everything yeah. there is becoming so like. Well, here's the thing. You know, MS13 has like taken full cities hostage on Long Island. <laughs> sure, of course. As ever, as as the Republican government would have you know, which yes. is, this is all true. All City, true stuff. Cities yeah. need to be liberated from the MS-13 gang. And if you ask any 60-year-old white women who make six figures a year, they'll let you know that the MS-13 is coming into their town. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, houses start at $850,000. <laughs> but, but they're rampaging <laughs> the streets. The MS-13 is running through the streets. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and oh, by the way, MS-13, a lot of people think means just a gang. But yeah. on Long Island, it means anyone who's slightly darker than you. So a lot of people are even pumping the breaks on tanning, which is huge oh, on Long really? Island. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no. This is bad. Because you know what the Long Island mantra is, if you can't tone it, tan it. Right. Of yeah, course. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this. I mean, there's there's a tanning bed on every corner, I would think. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. If only. That's what the forefathers promised us. <laughs> yeah. Don't, a lot of people in Long Island, they actually go to sleep in their tanning beds. They don't have normal beds, It's right? a way to multitask. Yeah. You don't blast it the whole night long, but you can, like, set it to, like, hit you yeah. eight minutes out of every hour. Why waste time when you're awake? I mean, you have stuff to do. Yeah. you can, uh, And that's why I, I prefer Lisa tanning bed mattresses. <laughs> I will get those going. Don't <laughs> okay, worry. Okay, okay. So, uh, what, anything else going on in Long Island? I mean, yeah, you, well, once you, we- you normally reside there and fly out here for the show. Yes, but this time I had to drive. I had to drive my friend's mom's Prius across town. Really? Yeah, Why yeah. is that? Because she wanted it to get it out here to some one of her, like, Cuck sons or whatever, so I had to wait. One of your brothers? Wait, no, no. This was my friend. Your, my, my your friend, friend's mom. My friend's mom. Your friend's mom. Okay, my friend's got it. mom said, "Hey, can my you know can you drive this car out there for my nephew?" Why and doesn't your friend do it? Because he uh, wait. Your friend's mom I'm wants wanna, it for her nephew, right? So this is your friend's. Cousin. Cousin. Right. But my friend, yeah. uh, the Mike DiDomenico, who we're talking about here, yeah. he can't go because uh, he's one of the 95% of Long Islanders who have a DUI. Oh. So okay. you can't yeah. cross. So you can't cross. Wait, so you're lines. in the 5%? Yeah. I've never been caught. I've never been caught. Because I was into pills over alcohol when I was younger. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. So I would just take like 100 Xenadrin and fucking drive around. I think they can still give you hours. some sort of a, a citation they for gotta that. They got to catch me first, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's the thing. When people do DUIs, they're like sleepy, and so yeah, they drive yeah, slower. No, that's why you need stimulants. If you're all fucking yacked up on some like uh, you know gas station cocaine and some K two, these they can't catch you, motherfuckers. Right? Okay. Fucking pigs. So how long did it take you to get from Long Island out here to L A? Oh, it was like nine and a half months, like the movie. <laughs> Like the movie. Oh, nine and a half weeks. But the movie <laughs> I think was you're longer. thinking of nine months, the uh, Hugh Grant movie. That's what I'm thinking of. Yes, that's right. fair. But to me, it was nine and a half months. But I'll round it down so it, it makes more sense when I say it. Okay. It's like nine and a half months, like the gestational period of a human female. <laughs> Why did it take you so long to get here? Got lost. Oh, where did you, where'd you wind up? I cracked the windows when I was hitting 95, and all my MapQuest directions blew out the window. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't have GPS? My T-Mobile sidekick has no GPS, oh, okay. but yeah. I have unlimited. Unlimited text, so that's and unlimited printing. It sounds like for your MapQuest. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I went to Kinko's for that. It cost oh. me forty dollars. Oh no, in quarters. 
<laughs> so, but I had all, them because I just came from Nathan's where I smashed open a change machine. So they all blew out the window. You didn't know just to get on like the I five or something like that. No, well, hindsight's twenty twenty, Oxman. I just was like, hey, fuck this, dude, and I just kept cruising. I went down to Key West. Oh, I was like, what I did was I was just like, I'm on ninety five. This sounds like it's a real sh- a real road, mm-hmm. and I just took it. Did and you I just got all wind up to- everywhere that the Beach Boys sang about? Yeah, I was in Aruba. I was in Jamaica. I was in <laughs> Ooh, I want to take you. Oh, you were in Ooh, I want to take you. Yeah, it's a small Hawaiian island. <laughs> you drove all the way out to Hawaii. I didn't drive all the way out there. I drove all the way to Key West, and there was a ferry boat leaving. Okay. And I was like, let me pop on this. This will probably head west. And you got all the way to Ooh, I want to take you. right ya. past California, all the way to Ooh, I want to take you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and then I went back to yeah. fucking Key Largo, and then we went down to Montego Bay. Okay. And uh, you know, I can't even get, you know, tropical yeah. drinks were melting in my hand. Yeah, I bet. I oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, but you're finally here. You know, my here. uncle has a boat named Kokomo. He does? Yeah, well, he did, but it burned. What, what happened to the boat? We shot a flare at it. <laughs> what? In order to... Trying to get his attention, because he had left the dock, and I was like, Uncle Mike, and I shot a flare <laughs> okay. at, at Kokomo to kind of alert him, and it landed right. in what he... Well, I didn't know he had it, but he had a big bucket of gasoline in there. Oh, no. Why? Right just for just for later? He says he was going to chum the waters with it. I don't know. I guess it like <laughs> makes the fish groggy or whatever. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so just boom, right? Yeah. Just boom, blew my uncle right out of the fucking water. Oh, no. Water. Was he all right? He landed on the dock completely fine. <laughs> really? As a matter of fact, he had a crab trap in his hand, and there was a crab in it. <laughs> and what did the crab do? The crab went, hey, just, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is, this I might have been a little, uh, yeah, I had been yeah, huffing yeah, some yeah. stuff. Okay, yeah. so yeah. so what actually happens uh, now that you know? I think my uncle dropped a cigarette into a gas tank. Oh, we shot a flare at him. We missed, and then he must have dropped a cigarette, cigarette. into a gas tank, blew himself off. He landed on the dock, not alive. Oh, completely okay. so he's dead. No crab. Oh, it was brutal. It was okay. really fucked up. You know, like I'm sorry. Yeah, he he had like well, you know the thing where you have no skin and you're like sort of like this is how how muscles work. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah, yeah. Like, uh, slim good body. Yes or what have yes you. yes. Yeah. He was just that. He was that. Okay he yeah, was that. yeah yeah. Just it burned off all layers of dermis. Yeah he was. But it managed to keep adipose tissue and muscular tissue intact. Really? So Just it was very actually educational. Yeah, I learned a lot. Now I know what a latissimus dorsi looks like. <laughs> Latissimus Dorsey, by the way, will be a guest on the show in upcoming weeks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, well, it's uh, what a fascinating life you have, Gino. I, I always, I'm sorry. I know, I know you're supposed to talk to only interesting no, people. No, I always enjoy uh, our little detours talking to you. Uh, you know, you, you're not a scheduled guest on the show, and I never know when you're going to show up. Yeah, but I'm uh, here you are, that. and I enjoy hear, catching up with you and hearing about your life. Hey, thank you. Same. I love knowing almost nothing about you, and <laughs> Nor you're will you that ever. over all of us. <laughs> sure. Do, if you had to come up with one detour, detail about me what would you do you know anything you're into asian chicks <laughs> okay well one hey that's that's a good start <laughs> that's how they all start it's like a hundred dead lawyers a good start <laughs> oh i like that <laughs> all right one. yeah let's kill some fucking lawyers <laughs> <laughs> okay i don't mean to set you off into um oh, dude that's gonna be so fucking sick i'm gonna get back to long island i'm gonna kill a fucking lawyer no no please don't <laughs> just cut his fucking head off slow no no all right look we we need to get to our first guest i'll uh, allow it <laughs> That's what I'll say. But watch yourself, cut his head <laughs> but, but literally, watch yourself <laughs> as, as I, you hold up his head. Fuck his headless corpse. <laughs> okay, dear. Um, all right, we need all to right, get I'm, to our. I'm done. I'm done talking. Uh, I'll stop. Thank talking. you very much, Gino. Uh, a little later, we're going to have a rope trick expert. Uh, will oh be here, God, but uh, let's wait. get to this royalty. This we we've had a few princes uh, here and there, but I believe this uh, more made, than two princes. <laughs> <laughs> the spin doctor special. <laughs> Um, I thought you'd like that. Yep, thank you. Uh, but I believe this may be our first queen. We have, uh, she is a queen. Please welcome to the show, Cleopatra. Hello, Cleopatra. Hi, thanks for having me. It's our pleasure. It's me, Cleopatra, queen of ancient Egypt. <laughs> you, you, I have to say, your voice, I've seen so many pictures of your uh, hieroglyphics uh, at oh, the very yeah, least. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your, your voice is not matching up with uh, what I thought it would be. Oh, yeah, and neither does my body or my face, right? Well, I didn't, you know, I don't like to go there. Hey, when you're queen, you can make those people draw you however you want. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're a very uh, traditionally beautiful woman in the uh, drawings. Yeah, but I look weird in real life, don't I, Scott? <laughs> well, Still beautiful, though. Oh, thank you. Just not 
traditionally beautiful, sort of like a sketchy beautiful, like yeah. a fucked up beautiful. Oh, thank like a Picasso or Well, a, more like one of those caricatures that people do in the park, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have like a tiny skateboard or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I you're mean, my, playing soccer. <laughs> my body is way smaller than my head. <laughs> to so be fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But it's fun. I actually came here because I want to kind of squash some rumors that history in in, in Hollywood I, made. May I ask me. uh the first rumor is that you're dead, that you've been dead for thousands of years. Yeah. How how are you here? Yeah. <laughs> well, you see, some some doctors found me. Okay. And they combined my DNA with a frog's DNA. Oh. And now I'm bad. So like Jurassic Park, they finally, I, I saw that uh, latest Jurassic Park movie and spoilers, they weirdly got into human cloning in it. <laughs> they, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's why your body's so small. As I look at the closer inspection, it's got a light green sheen to it. Right. Yeah, it's a little, and look at my tongue. Oh, oh that is long as yeah, fuck. That hit, yeah. me, that hit me right here, hit me right here. <laughs> Just like A1. <laughs> um, my goodness, I mean, uh, yeah, because when I watched that Jurassic Park movie, I was like, you know, you know, you know what we'd like to see in this movie about dinosaurs is a human child. Is a little girl who you're like, wait a second. <laughs> this opens She's up some intriguing doors. <laughs> so you you saw Jurassic Park World? That was the first movie I saw because the doctors were like, hey. Trying to explain what yeah, happened to you. Yeah, they're like, this is what happened to you. And I was confused because, first of all, I was screaming because I've never seen anything like a movie theater oh, before. Oh, yeah, I bet all you've seen are like pyramids all or what I've have you. Seen but you've pyramids. seen dinosaurs. <laughs> Did yeah, they, they built the pyramids. <laughs> they didn't show you like Stargate in order to sort of acclimate yourself for the mummy or something like that. To like these, this is a movie with pyramids in it. No, they blindfolded me and brought me to oh, the no. arc light, and then they said, <laughs> "Oh, at least Sit you had down. to go to the arc light. I like that place. <laughs> yeah. yeah, was it the dome? <laughs> it was the dome. Oh. They kick out people who talk too much during the movies. Oh yeah, so, been yeah, kicked it's out real a few nice. Times yeah, I mean, you were screaming though. Were they trying to I kick you out? I was screaming, and then they were like, and, and were they trying they, to reboot you? <laughs> they were trying to reboot me, but then then they realized they're like. Like, oh, that's Cleopatra. Oh, we yeah. got to do whatever she says. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, do you, so you still hold the title even though you're a clone. And you, you your title comes all the way to Hollywood, California? Yeah. Uh, despite you, being the queen the, of Egypt? You're in, this is your jurisdiction still? Yeah. Okay. Doy. Cradle of civilization, I guess. Thank you. Know? you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bow down to me. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're half frog, half Cleopatra. <laughs> uh, got, yeah, pretty much. Maybe. Can't... <laughs> <laughs> and let me see your feet. Do you mind? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me oh, take a picture yeah. of your feet. Oh, yeah. Oh, let you me like grab a snap. <laughs> Do you mind jumping up a little bit so I can see those behind the table? Okay, ready? Yep. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's all right. Sick, so man. yeah, all right. So uh, so Cleopatra, you're yes. here. Okay, great. Yes. We know how you're. And here. So what so. are the, some of these r rumors you wanted to discuss? Well, yeah. all, that I'm like, you know, that I was so exotic, mm -hmm. and that I just used my body to like conquer the world. I didn't do any of that. Okay, I was just really good at politics. Oh, interesting. So, okay. I mean, uh, the uh, queen isn't an elected position, as far as I know. That's right. I was born into it. <laughs> right. But so, then upon becoming queen, but you becoming, realize. Yeah, I didn't have to suck Caesar's dick to get anything done. I just did it for fun, and then I got okay. shit done, you not know? Not that kind of show again. Well, it's not that kind of show. It's not the kind of show. You talk to interesting people. You have Cleopatra saying she sucked Caesar's dick, and you're saying it's not that <laughs> kind of show. Even this around the at the it's same just, time? It doesn't matter. This is the most. This is some <laughs> fucking were. Bill and Ted shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I mean, it is newsworthy. We're we're uh, it's a breaking story. So yeah. apparently, you uh, uh, had oral uh, copulation with Caesar. Oral. Anal. Oh, Listed all. Gino. In my ear in that order? one time. In that order? Oral you went anal. ass to. <laughs> yeah. I got a pretty bad infection. In but your the ears, Nile I would imagine, cleaned too. it up. <laughs> There's not a lot of people who do the M to A to V to E. To E. <laughs> Although that's a way you can, uh, aren't those on the Long Island subway stops? <laughs> oh, the Long Island Railroad is an above ground railroad. And if you want to know what the Babylon line stops are, you can purchase a t shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll clear it all up for you. So, uh, so. It's the only way. So, what are some of these other rumors that uh, we, we've been so discussing? You, so, you did suck Caesar. So, the rumor that you sucked Caesar's yeah. dick that is, is true. true. But that's it's true. not for the motivation that Wait, we everyone knows. Exactly. It's not for me to be like, ooh, I'm going to win over like Rome's. Like the Romans right. 
uh, all together. Went in you Rome, know? sort of. Yeah, and that, it wasn't for that. It was pure for me and fun because I just I wanted a dick in my mouth, and mm. I got a dick God, in my mouth. It is a know? fucking great experience, right? It is, isn't it's it fun? Weirdly, you feel powerless and powerful yeah, at the powerful. same. Powerful, yes. It's like an yeah. interesting thing. You feel like yeah. This is a so situ- this is a precarious situation for me to be in, having someone else's genitals in my mouth. But at the same time, it's a precarious situation for, for them. them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, well, yeah, it's yeah. Have happen. you ever sucked a dick? Even by accident? Uh, yeah, again, have you ever you're fallen not gonna, mouth <laughs> first on a dick? <laughs> you're not going to find out anything about my personal life on this show. <laughs> That's a solid yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what about Anthony? Is Anthony? Anthony, he's my From boy. Queer Eye? He, the one who makes guac? Oh, he's hot, too. <laughs> the second thing that the doctor showed me was Queer Eye. Yeah. Because oh, well, really? they want to get you uh, acclimated to what society's like. Let me yes. ask, did you cry? I sobbed immediately. <laughs> I sobbed. That one church lady was so delightful. Uh, oh, well, know. you know that uh, Tom ended up with... Uh, uh, yeah, he Are ended you? up. Yeah, they really? got married. Yeah. Oh no, I yeah. love it so much, <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> That's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah, but Anthony from Queer Eye, I love. Mark Anthony. Oh, that's what we're talking about. That's uh, J Lo's ex-husband. No, not the singer. <laughs> okay. What's J Lo? Oh, you gotta. Uh, oh, that'll J- be the third thing that you okay, see. Okay, okay. J Lo's butt. Yeah, because it was Jurassic World, Queer Eye, and then Right to Here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Re- really? They just, just took you right to here. I think, yeah, just I think, right to here. I'm looking at your itinerary. After this, you're supposed to see a picture of J Lo on the red carpet at the MTV Movie Awards. Ooh, in the green from dress. a few oh, okay. years from years ago. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah, from years ago. I'm supposed. And then to you're do that. supposed to see that picture of Trey Parker and Matt Stone <laughs> dressed as J Lo. Oh, it's yeah, very what? helpful to understand. Uh, Satirical yeah, culture context. in America. Yeah, okay, yes. great. Well, you have yeah. a full schedule. So I was I was asking, can I please learn the history <laughs> of the United States? And they say you can learn the history of pop culture. Oh, okay, so great. That's so you don't know anything about the framers or the Constitution? I don't know anything about framers. I think you'll learn a little bit when you watch all of I Love the 80s uh, Strikes Back. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah. that's How do uh, you like Michael Ian Black? Number five. <laughs> Funny! <laughs> oh, so you do know him. <laughs> Funny! You've just been reading his tweets? <laughs> Can I say he's one of the doctors? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, what? Yeah, he's Michael one of the Ian doctors. Black. Man, he has so many projects going at the same time. He yeah. hosts every game show. He's or? a hustler. He's, he's a real he hustler. Eight Books, yeah. children's books, he, and now he also is a doctor that brings back Cleopatra. But he saves true. a lot of time by being off social media. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, uh, so what? Uh, so, Mark Antony. Oh, I love him. He was my number one. He's your number one. He's yeah. my number one. Boy. Oh, mine's Joe Manganiello. <laughs> oh, who? Well, he's. Uh, oh, you got us. You got True it, Blood. Yeah. True Blood. That, Every I'm season of True that Blood. To my list. True Blood. <laughs> True Blood. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. They're based yeah. on the Sookie Stackhouse novel. It's really fun. But Al you, Seed is played by Joe Manganiello, and he's hot as fuck. Yeah. Oh, okay. You might want to read the Sookie Stackhouse novels first. First. Okay. Yeah. So then I really get the, the show. Yeah, I would yeah, bump yeah. that above okay. the J-Lo picture. Maybe get to that immediately. I don't know. Do you really understand Anna Paquin's butt without seeing J-Lo's butt? You Fair know? enough. Oh, Let's see everyone's butt. I love a good butt. And I got to tell you, my, Mark Anthony, he had such a nice cake. Oh, really? His butt. Oh, my God. I would go to town on it for hours. A nice really? slice of olive loaf back there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would just slice off a little bit for myself. Mark Anthony, uh-huh. break me off a piece of that <laughs> fine-ass cake you got back there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would scream that at him, but in ancient uh, <laughs> Egyptian. <laughs> Egyptian, right, yeah. I speak a bunch of languages. <laughs> that was what some rumors say I, I I don't. I do. I speak a ton of languages. I mean, what you, other languages you do you speak? So far, I know English. Yeah, you picked up English so quickly. I'm, I'm I don't know that smart. it existed back then. Is this from then? just watching Jurassic I'm, Park? You this learned is English? all just from Jurassic Park. Wow. So yeah. they, a lot of people don't know they said every single word in the English language in the Jurassic Park yeah. movies. Yeah. They said olive love. A quick brown fox jumps over <laughs> the lazy dog. dog. Yeah. 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 They said it all. They said it all. I speak ancient Egyptian, Roman, uh, Sumer- Sumerian, Sumerian yeah. um, English, of course, you guys are hearing Old that. English? Uh, old English as Great. well. Ye. Uh, ye. <laughs> ye say do. <laughs> well, I guess. That's traditional Old English as I know it. <laughs> oh, uh, old English. Mm-hmm. And now frog. <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> what did you just say right then? I said... For those of us who don't know the language. Ribbit is actually rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> 
So you want a rabbit? Apparently frogs love rabbits. Oh, okay. I had no That's idea. That's all he's saying is rabbit. Wow, this is newsworthy as well. <laughs> right? Pretty Print cool. It. <laughs> Gray Print lady, it. baby. Two prints. <laughs> Put it says. in the history books. Um, so what uh, What other misconceptions are there about you? There's the, I was poisoned by a snake. Oh, right. I was, I was bit by an asp. You were not, though. I was not. Okay. I really? was how not. Did, how did, uh, uh, did you, were you bit by anything? Did I was you not die? bit by anything. No. I ate the snake. Whoa. And that's what killed me. Uh, you, because I you s- ate a snake? A live snake. A l- I oh. slurped it up like spaghetti, <laughs> which was, they gave that spaghetti to me during Jurassic World. They're like, you need to learn what this food is. Oh, okay. Right, so see. this legend about you being bit by a snake just happened? Oh, no, 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 she, no, she learned what spaghetti is from. Uh, you had slurped what, a snake and you retroactively learned that the way I you like, had slurped oh, it. Yeah. This is, I slurped the spaghetti like I had slurped the snake that yeah. then killed me. So when you were eating the spaghetti, you were like, oh my God. This is exactly how I slurp snakes. And they're like, the analogy is simpler if you say slurp like spaghetti. <laughs> right. And you were like, got it. Yes. Yeah, and then yeah. I was like, now I get it. Got now it. I can make it in this modern world. I Why learned what you- spaghetti was when uh, a doctor, well, I went to go to the doctor when I was five to have my testicle dropped and he fucking slapped me with a manicot shell and my mom explained to me that that's what spaghetti was. You needed to manually drop it? Yeah, well, I had an undescended testicle so right. I, I had to get a, I had, the doctor had to go in there and drop just it. Just massage it? it somehow? No, you slit uh, in between the groin and thigh and you Oy. reach up there and you just oh, pull shit. it down into the sack and then Sort of like, like trying to, you know, like when uh, a but, coke, at a coke machine if it doesn't drop, you gotta sort yeah, of like, you gotta reach, like up reach up there. and pull it down and then when, you can rock the machine back and forth and then it eventually <laughs> drops into to the sack, and then it never. It oh, you can always tell which one was the one that was undescended. Yeah, it, it stays tight. I did something like that to Alexander the Great. Really? He did. Yeah, but his his shit was descended. Okay, oh, but I did that kind of move, and he loved okay. it. A lot of people say if you tug on your balls at the point of climax, did, it'll slow it down a little bit, maybe even increase the stimulation. Wow. Yeah, so give that a crack. I'm gonna give it a whirl. <laughs> tug on some balls. I learned all of those words from Jurassic World too. <laughs> so. Why, uh, why? Why would you slurp oh, a snake like that? I was I was kind of messed up and just hungry. Me and uh, me and Mark, we were just kind of yeah, looking we were, for stuff to eat. We were just looking. We were drinking some wine, and I gotta tell you, wine back in the day. Yeah. It wasn't wine. It was yeah. pretty it's like much. like moonshine or something. It, yeah, like yeah. you didn't know if you would be able to see after you took a swig or yeah. what would happen. Oh, that sounds fucking fun. It was fun. So was oh, there a yeah. snake in a bowl somehow? Like it had <laughs> crawled up into a bowl and you just were like, hey. Yeah, there's a snake in a bowl eating an apple. And I was like, this looks too good to be true. So then we tried to do where um, he would have one end. Lady I would in the Tramp. Oh, it's a Lady in the Tramp. Put you got to see put that, that next. Movie down. What is it? Lady, Lady in, in the, the Tramp. Tramp. I would oh. hold off and wait and see the live action one when it comes out. It's <laughs> yeah, definitely going to be better. Just wait. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, Disney's it. got it figured out. With, like, the thing we loved about those cartoons is we eventually <laughs> wanted to see live action versions of them. <laughs> Yeah, so he started with one end, but then I got greedy and I slurped all of it out of his oh. mouth and into my mouth. What type of snake was it? it an asp. It was it an asp. You gotta be careful when you're asp. eating asp. <laughs> That's all what those guys at the Eyes Wide Shut asp, thing yeah. <laughs> said to you. <laughs> So, uh, so you just swallowed it down. That's what. what how did so, it kill you? Did you suffocate, or did then it? It was still alive in your inside in your stomach. My stomach. Got it. And then it started just eating chewing me, its way out, chewing oh, no. its way out, which oh. is how we used to torture people. Oh, is kind of we would put a rat on their stomach. Oh, isn't that ironic? Cage. Oh, uh, I got to play that record for you. Oh, I, okay. Yeah. The best way to understand irony is from Jagged <laughs> yeah. Little Pills by Alanis Morissette. Right. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> That's ironic. <laughs> this is on my list. Jagged little. You're gonna pill. love the song about Dave Coulier. <laughs> oh, I guess you gotta watch all seasons of Full House and Fuller House before you and listen to that record. Can't hurt to watch the later season, um, America's Funniest Home Videos. Yeah. Oh no, he was in America's Funniest People. America's Funniest Home Videos was Danny Tanner. You should watch both. Yeah. Okay, great. My list is getting huge. <laughs> my list is getting really big. When you get all that done, I recommend The Wire. <laughs> But yeah. definitely watch all of Full House, Fuller House. Oh, and, and America's Sopranos Funniest as well. Like, you got to see Sopranos, That too. shit's all bullshit. What? Yeah, that show's all bullshit. <laughs> what about, 
can I ask you guys? Yeah. What's a good What's a good history? Like, what's a good thing I should know about this? Drunk country? history. Drunk history. Drunk history. Yeah, just watch that. It'll It'll, it'll solve all your problems. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Ooh, okay, good. Plus, it'll be a lot like you know you and Mark Antony drinking that wine. You know, people get to that stage. Oh, so awesome. it's really okay. funny. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Very so, dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure quite how it's, they get insurance on that <laughs> show. <laughs> You know, I, I feel like some people just maybe drink a little too much when they're on that show. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've seen some people get really <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, these people are fucking crazy. Yeah. Uh, so you said that there was a lot of uh, rumors about you, but famously there is that hieroglyphic of uh, you bent over with a snake head sticking out of your ass and a snake tail sticking out of your mouth. Yeah, yes. we thought it was supposed to be symbolic or something, but it's just literally what happened. It's what happened. Uh, okay. It is what happened. Yeah. Uh, and while it was happening, I was going, don't draw this. Please don't draw this. Please don't. <laughs> Don't draw this, but they did. But back I then, died. everybody had a paint. Everyone had a paintbrush on them. They could slap a hieroglyphic. Yeah, Anyone yeah. had charcoal. Everybody, with them. just like you guys have those phones. Everybody had some mm. charcoal, some paint, something to chisel, and they were yeah. just ready. They were ready for anything. Wow, that's too bad. No privacy as the so queen how, of ancient Egypt. How did you feel when the, uh, after Jurassic Park when they showed you those drawings? <laughs> Uh, just bummed out. Yeah, yeah. Bummed out. Kind of all of it bummed me yeah. out. Yeah, I mean, you're famous for the wrong reasons. I'm famous for the way wrong reasons. I was good at being queen. Yeah, I people mean, don't know that. What were some of the things you did as queen? Like uh, oh, you, boy. you enslaved a lot of people. Enslaved a ton of people, but that was okay at the <laughs> okay. time. Yeah. I think yeah, you're on the wrong that side one, of history. That one's aged. That. that one's aged poorly. The it only is. way you're really allowed to have slaves now is through some weird sort of internship program where you work <laughs> for ten years and never get. College credit or get paid, or you, oh. yeah, or you could do it pro. <laughs> <laughs> There, have you been to UCB Sunset yet? <laughs> Not yet. That's, um, that's on my list. Start with Sunset. That's on my list. That's on my list. That's on my list. I'm going to go on a Monday night at 1030. <laughs> okay. Oh, sounds like there's a good team there. Yeah, it's just probably. Okay, look, we have to take a break, Cleopatra. Okay. Can you stick around? I mean, I, I know you have a very busy schedule around. after this, but. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to watch. All right. When we I'll stick around. Great. When we come back, we will have a rope trick expert. <laughs> Idaho will be here. This is very exciting. We'll be right Right back with more comedy bang bang after this. Roll ads. <laughs> Jobs. No, I'm not talking about Steve. As much of a genius as he was. Um, but Jobs, we all need one. Unless you're uh, some sort of uh, wealthy, eccentric millionaire. Um, and uh, we all love to have, be fulfilled and creatively feel that our job is a great match for us, right? Well, in order to get one, there's tons of job sites that send you a bunch of wrong resumes to sort through or make you wait for the right candidates to apply to your job. Well, that's not smart. So if you're hiring, you want to get the right people, right? You know what is smart? I'll tell you what's smart. Going to ZipRecruiter.com slash CBB to hire the right person. That's right. This is an exclusive web address. I can't believe that they actually got this web address, that they were able to purchase it. But ZipRecruiter.com slash CBB, even if you're not hiring, just go check that out. It's an exclusive web address. No one else has this web address. Google, you're not going to click on it and suddenly you're at Google. You're not going to click on it. You're at the New York Times. No, we got it. Everyone else, back off. ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on candidates finding you. It finds them for you. Its powerful matching technology scans thousands of resumes, and then it identifies people with the right skills, education, and experience for your job and actively invites them to apply. That's where the recruiter part of ZipRecruiter comes in. It's recruiting out there for you. It's out there trying to get them to apply to your job so you get qualified candidates fast. No more sorting through the wrong resumes. No more waiting for the right candidates to apply. Please, please, please apply for my job. No, that is why ZipRecruiter is rated number one by employers in the U.S. And this rating comes from hiring sites on Trustpilot with over 1,000 reviews. So you know you can count on it. 
And right now, my listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free. And I'm going to give out this exclusive web address. I know this is dangerous because uh, someone may try to hack into it and get it for their very own. But no, no, we got it. A lot of security on this site. ZipRecruiter.com slash CBB. That is the exclusive web address that you can all go to right now. ZipRecruiter.com slash CBB. ZipRecruiter.com slash CBB is where you can get all of the info of how to get this. ZipRecruiter is the smartest way to hire. <laughs> hey, have you met Sonos Beam? You gotta meet Sonos Beam. Sonos B. Okay, now a lot of people who know me know I look. I love music. I have a you know I've had several podcasts devoted to music. Um, you got to listen to music, and uh, I also love movies. Uh, and you got to get everything on the right sound system. Okay, now I when I moved into my uh, new house, the first thing I did was I installed Sonos everywhere on the TV on the uh, stereo, everywhere. It is the greatest invention of all time. And Sonos Beam is the newest addition to the easy-to-use home sound system that is Sonos. It is the smart, compact sound bar for your TV. All right? Beam has changed the way that you can enjoy home entertainment. You don't want to be watching TV and just hearing the the sound come out of the TV speakers. That is that is the wisdom of a fool, my friend. Because uh, if if you're listening to your TV on this, uh, there's a whole world. You you will not believe how incredible TV can sound when you put up all of the Sonos and include the Sonos Beam because the sound is amazing. Uh, and what it does is it turns your Little home TV into a movie theater. Beam lets you play everything. And it's not just about the movies because Beam lets you play everything that you love. Music, radio, the movies, TV, podcasts, or maybe my podcast, and more just right there on the Beam. You use AirPlay to enjoy sound from your iPhone or your iPad on Beam. And all of this with rich sound. And it you won't believe it because this little Beam... It fills up the whole room with sound. It's amazing. Deep bass, detailed stereo separation for music, plus crystal clear dialogue for TV and movies. All it takes is one chord. It's not like, oh, yeah, you're going to send you a beam and then you're going to have like a major, how do I hook this up situation? It's just one chord. It connects your beam to your TV and it syncs with your existing remote. Or you can get hands-free control with Alexa, which is built in. Alexa is built into beam. The Sonos app walks you through, and the Sonos app is really super simple. Uh, I use it every day of my life. Uh, It just walks you through setup step by step. And here's the other thing. If you're like, yeah, still sounds too complicated for me, even though it sounds super easy. I get it. If you don't even want to bother setting up your speakers, Sonos will send someone out to do it for you. If you live in any major metropolitan area up and running, will have a Sonos expert deliver and set up your system absolutely free. Um, it's super easy. I did it. I didn't want to set this up. I'm lazy. Uh, up and Running came out, and they set it up for me. Just order from Sonos.com and select Up and Running at checkout if you qualify. The Sonos Beam, you got to meet it, and when you meet it, you got to greet it. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here. Uh, Gina Lombardo is here. And hit record? Uh, <laughs> you, you didn't hit record. I'm not positive. I hit a lot of buttons. You're not positive. That's good. Oh, I'm not positive. <laughs> <laughs> got that. <laughs> You're in the 5%. I'm in the 5%. So we also have Cleopatra here. Uh, yeah. Uh, who, uh, I guess a Cleopatra frog hybrid. Yeah, that's Was right. it a famous frog? Uh, the WB frog. <laughs> oh, really? The double, 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 frog? double, WB frog. So Michigan J. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, okay. He's like one of the frog. three frogs I know, so <laughs> yeah. that, that's a good one. So you, you may burst out into song at any point. At any moment. <laughs> well, we'll be waiting for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, it's time to get to our next now guest. Now I know why... Cleopatra has a top hat and cane. <laughs> yes, that wasn't part of the lore. <laughs> I didn't understand that, yeah, so yeah, I didn't that quite understand. Any of the that came from the frog part mm-hmm. of me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get to our next guest. He is a rope trick expert. Please welcome Idaho. Hello, yeah. Idaho. Howdy. Welcome. Glad to be here. Well, uh, thank you for welcoming uh, us. Scott, you need a little help with that water? Whoop. 
There you, go. Oh, there you go. That you lifted it up to my mouth. Yep, with my hands. Now, separate yes, from being you. gracious. Thank you very much. Uh, although I am chivalrous to a fault, I'm also handy with the ropes. You yes. Know, mind if I demonstrate? Did you bring some? Uh, not here. <laughs> uh Oh, do you, ha- do you have any here? I yeah. Hope well, I, I have a large chest full of ropes. Oh, that great, we great. Just mind, mind if for I for such an occasion? Yeah. You here? want to know my first day of the internship? Scott Ackerman was like, "Look, let me show you the ropes," and he yeah. just opened up a chest. <laughs> He's like, "Yeah." We, we, Keep these in case there's a rope expert who forgot them. (laughs) Fan of the old wordplay, are you? Well, I am This guy loves this shit. Oh, it's great. I'm a a huge fan of puns myself. Really? Uh, What's your favorite? My favorite is uh, rule of thumb, more like rule of guns. (laughs) All right. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a fan of that one. Write that down. (laughs) Rule of thumb is more like rule of guns. That's my favorite pun. So what is the first- Might I just use one of these ropes here? uh, Sure. Can I just help myself? Yeah, help yourself. Uh, What is the first rule of guns when it comes to rope tricks? The rule of guns when it comes to rope tricks is try not to uh, out, try not to get into fights with people with guns. Got it. Okay. Yeah, so you don't want to bring a gonna, rope to a gunfight. That's right. It would be like a Dago to bring a knife to a gunfight. Well, I'm not going <laughs> to endorse just, or even get near any I of your. I'm allowed to say Dago. <laughs> that one I'm for sure. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> still, you shouldn't. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not going to endorse or even pretend like I heard any of the controversial statements that you're saying. Um, yeah, so, you try not to bring a rope to a gunfight. That's that's yeah. basically what that one. I mean, means. you can as long as you also have a gun. Sure, yeah, it actually might. That's right. Yeah, yeah, it might Could, actually put you at an gun advantage. Gun plus rope would be better than just gun. Yeah, gun plus rope beats gun. Beats rock. Beats rope. Yeah, but does not beat scissor. No, scissors. No, scissors is rules. Actually, Scissors. that's even worse for me than guns. It's so it goes, rules. It goes Scissoring gun rules. plus rope. Then gun. Then gun. Yeah. Then uh, uh, rock. Then, then rock. Oh, no. Yep. Yeah. Gun will beat a rock. Then rope. Then scissor. Yes. Then no, paper. Scissors above rope. Scissors above rope. Oh, that's right. It can cut the rope. Yeah. yeah. I can't go near any. I can't. If someone's got guns, <laughs> so, I'm out. And okay. if someone's got scissors, I'm double so out. So if you don't have a gun, you can beat paper. If you don't have a gun, if you just have scissors? Yeah, no, no if you have, have rope. rope. Yeah, if you have rope, I you can, can beat paper. paper. But yeah. can you yeah, can okay. beat rock with rope. Let me let me write this down. Uh, <laughs> yeah, can you lasso a, a rock? Oh, uh, yes, you could, but is it any good? Yes, you'll, you'll defeat a rock with a rope. <laughs> okay, so rock oh. rock actually beats uh, uh, scissors usually. But I've rock beats scissors, with rope rocks. beats rock. But, but just rope like cannot, scissors, rope cannot scissors. beat scissors. Scissors, scissors beats, beats paper, paper beats rock. It happens. You know? <laughs> yes, this is the scissors beats paper. <laughs> avenue we've ever gone down on this well, me and my friends, when we try untrue. when we try to make decisions with each other, it takes a long time because we yeah. have all these other factors. Anytime you want to get into a fight, are you taking inventory of what the Before other person I get has? Involved, do you have I'm paper? Like, do you I'm have... like, tell me what they got, so <laughs> yeah. I know what my odds are. Okay, gotcha. if, if everyone's got a rope, I'm in. You're because you're an expert. I'm an expert, so I'll yeah. probably come out on top. Okay, but if they have guns and ropes, well, I'm like, well, I got to have a gun. Right. Yeah. Because then, you know, hopefully my rope expertise will outdo their gun yeah. expertise. Do you have a gun with you right now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but we, I sh- we should she have metal should, detectors. I'm not an expert I in this. also have a gun with me right now. Yes. Oh Jesus, really? I do too. They <laughs> gave not... me one right as I walked into How the dark yes. Do you know what they do? What? Do, they, do you know what they do? Yeah, I'll show you. Let me use a little rope trick on my gun. I'll just lasso it right here. <laughs> Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. That last part was a mistake. Oh, I, meant, I meant to whip it around. That part I had control. So you're not good with the ropes? No, no, I'm great with the ropes, but the guns, I'm all thumbs. My arm is rule of thumbs. You're all, rule of thumbs. You're all guns. Like rule of guns. That's what that yeah. means, which is I'm all thumbs when it comes to these guns. So you can only cock them, you can't shoot them. Yeah, well, with my hands. All right. With my rope, I'm great. Here, here, let me try it again. Let me try it again. Oh, no. Here please, don't point it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that one grazed me. <laughs> My bad. I'm, oh. Idaho. Yes. You're a rope trick expert. Correct, yes. <laughs> Tell us about yourself. Oh, yeah. This almost seems irrelevant now, but my main application of being a rope trip expert is uh, I'm hired muscle for crimes. Oh. Crime ah. gangs. What, like your Ocean's hired muscle. Eleven type heist, you know, or so maybe sort of like mafia the, the muscle. enforcers or something like this? I haven't heard of them, but uh, <laughs> what I try to do is— I uh, talked about them on a podcast once. Well, I don't know what you're referring to. <laughs> <laughs> I am available as Like muscle. Fancy Dan. Don't know who that is. <laughs> okay, gotcha. I, I tend to associate with um, with gangs who mm. each have a specialty, mine being rope tricks, for oh, example. I see. So I might be of use if you're robbing a bank and you need someone to go in and, like, lasso up of cameras, you know, and, like, whip oh. them off the walls. I could take care of that. <laughs> okay. Now, and is then it you bring in a st- lasso or is it lasso when you're saying it as a verb? 
the pr- proper way to say it? Yes. Yeah. Lasso. Lasso. Okay. La- lasso, lasso is a verb and lasso is a noun. Okay. When you have so a- I'm going to lasso you with my lasso. Right. Copy that. And when you have a way- very consistent uh, southern accent, <laughs> yep. it's easy to well, tell. it's more of a western draw. <laughs> okay. So it's like if you have a TV show, you can see sue it, but if you watch it, it's see so. Yeah. You can see sue it. Neither of those apply show. anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, I haven't, yeah, I've, I haven't been here in nine and a half months. Uh, Cleopatra, yeah. have you seen any see so? Shows? What? Have you see sued any CISO shows? Yeah, did you watch? They uh, were on my list and then got scratched out. <laughs> They're kind of harder to find. Now. Yeah, you Flowers know, is great. <laughs> yeah, the UCB show I think has moved over to Stars, maybe. So, <laughs> yeah, you got to get the Stars app. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm available as hire for like. Um, right. My my recent gang, everybody sort of had their own specialty. I was rope tricks. Okay. Uh, my friend Spoony was real good with spoons. Oh, really? He'd come in there and just he'd be able to like whip them spoons around and like. How would he whip a, spoons around? He'd, he'd like throw, throw them? ricochet them off things. Oh, you know, okay. he was real good with like pinpoint or, accuracy with throwing mm-hmm. spoons. Could and he have thrown anything with pinpoint accuracy? I or suppose, did, but I never did saw him know try. Did he know the weight of a he spoon? Just seemed comfortable with spoons. Yeah, and, and spoons would, might be like you might want to learn spoons, then get to knives eventually. You can <laughs> I, I, maybe that's where he's headed. Because I think One the thing d- about gangs is you don't you don't get personal with each other. It's sort right. of a code of like respecting each other's man. What was his name? Spoony. Yeah, but what was his real name? Oh, I no. never learned it. Oh, okay. mine's Lawrence. Oh, but nobody okay. cares. I prefer Idaho. It's nice. Thank yeah. you very much. Oh, yeah, 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 that was a sort of a self ascribed nickname. Mm. You, you gave it to yourself. <laughs> yes. What else would that mean? <laughs> I, I'm just self-ascribed. And I'm just. Uh, why would you do something like that? Well, I just you know Lawrence doesn't really have any sort of panache or sure. elan. Are you from you know? Idaho? But though? So you picked no. one of the most interesting states. <laughs> I'm not from Idaho. You're not no. from Idaho. Where I grew are you up from? In Central Connecticut, baby. <laughs> that explains I, the, the draw. You say well, baby too. Huh? You say baby too. <laughs> yeah, everyone in Connecticut says baby, baby. <laughs> but uh, Idaho, I, the the Northwest is sort of a mythical land for me, and I just wanted mm. to. I aspire to its kind of frontier values. Oh, I see. Never been there. <laughs> I this is around, also where I learned that Idaho's in the Northwest. Yeah, yeah, Idaho's in the Northwest. Sure, nestled right up there around Montana and Washington State. It's oh, great. I've heard of those. Mm-hmm. Great, right, yeah. great country up there. Lovely. You should I visit. Suppose. It at I've some never point. been there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It seems nice. <laughs> right. I mostly stick to gangs in Central Connecticut, Central Massachusetts, <laughs> Southern Rhode, I- Rhode Island, uh, uh, Eastern Vermont, Maine. What about Maine? What America's Maine? erect penis. I never made it to Maine. Oh, mm. you got. What'd you call it? America's erect penis. <laughs> Not Florida. Florida. Florida's the droopy dick. Oh, and wow, what a weird. Way to look at America. And Hawaii's jizz and Alaska's your ass with shit dripping out of it. <laughs> These are gonna Texas help. I'll is your, Texas this is forever. your scrotum hanging off the side of a bike seat. Cleopatra, is this helpful for you? Is I'm California like so an inner much. fat urethra that yeah, just snakes uh, down? Yes, there? California is actually a thick vas deferens. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> North Carolina okay. is the fupa. <laughs> What fat upper pussy area? Is you got to write this down. Is Texas, what post ba- post baby hips or something? Like oh a broad, yeah, yeah, like yeah. A broad yeah. Ass. yeah. Uh-huh. It's a big thick secretary spread ass. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I rob banks. <laughs> right. Thank you for and, uh, and I'm good at it. So if you need somebody, you know, I'll you're, bring... you're not good at it by yourself. You about, need no. I need, need to other be part people. of a twelve or thirteen man gang. <laughs> so like an Spoonie ocean's... usually comes along. Spoonie's usually there. Really, I, I work with Spoonie a lot. Do you guys team up a lot? So are your your skills? Set complimentary? Yeah, I'll usually like whip the cameras off the wall and then Spoonie will kind of ricochet something off and, you know, send the deposit slips going crazy. Yeah. That distracts everybody. Can I ask you, have you ever done anything aside from whipping cameras off the wall? You Not mentioned yet. that twice. I'm available. I mean, like, usually at that point, everything else is taken care of. Safe Cracker comes in and he opens right. up the vault. Now, Flat- his skill set seems very applicable. He's to the crucial. Bank. If we don't have Safe Cracker, I'm like, we shouldn't go. Sometimes we've tried to rob the banks without Safe so Cracker. You get to I'll the get cameras? There, I'll whip the, the cameras. <laughs> Spoonie will rifle the deposit, deposit slips. slips everywhere. We'll get right to the vault and be like, well, we're out. I mean, this is it. We can't. Okay. Nobody catches us, so sure. it's harmless. Sure. We cause a lot of mischief, but without Safe Cracker, it's yeah. rough. Have you ever whipped a human being? To make them work faster? <laughs> no, I've never that, uh, used again, my ropes as Cleo, whips. No, I, no, that's bull. No. Do you We're trying a, not to talk about but that. But what shit. if you need yeah. to build a big temple to yourself? Yeah, a lot of people will <laughs> yeah. say that slavery is the only way to get through massive periods of growth, uh, but let's not yeah. get into that. Okay, okay. I suppose I could like lasso around them and constrict them and cause them 
to be uncomfortable until they did what I wanted. Right, okay. yeah. I've never whipped, per se. Do you have a bullwhip guy, though, on the team? Yeah, there's usually Whippy. We'll bring Spoopy <laughs> Whippy. and Whippy. Whippy is, uh, he doesn't do a lot. A lot He's, of people have more obvious nicknames, and then you go by Idaho, Idaho baby. <laughs> Here comes Idaho. Does it get a little confused? Do you always have to say, I'm Idaho, and then people like kind of look and at you? I, go, I do rope tricks. tricks. Yeah. Yep, yep, I do have to do a little more explaining than everybody. <laughs> yeah. My Ro- friend, uh, Ropey might have been a great. Ropey would be good. Ropey's weird because it was a way to describe loads. Well, Ropey is another friend of mine who's- <laughs> You can have Ropey loads, you know? <laughs> ropey loads? Like when you oh, jizz like, sometimes. Jizz? Yeah, you can like shoot You're ropes. You're describing the shape of the oh, jizz? Dear. That's a Caesar rope. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Et tu, Brute. <laughs> I think of Ropey as a description of a stream of urine more than an explosion of okay. jizz. Oh, yeah. Right, like a yeah. warm, Drink Ropey more stream water. of urine. Drink more water then. Okay, yeah. If it's like thick and viscous. <laughs> yeah. Do you I not drink ropey. water? <laughs> not usually. <laughs> what do you drink? Straight beer, baby. Straight, Straight beer. beer. Straight beer. I don't Straight dilute it. Straight. <laughs> no ice. No ice. Give me that beer straight up. Well, let me pour you some water. Oh, oh right here we near, go. This wow, is, right this near is, the mic. Yeah, this is right in his well, wheelhouse. This is what he's rope. here to do. Whoop. 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 Sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay, you while. are not good at well, these ropes. It's been a while since I haven't roped a camera. Yeah, how <laughs> long is it? a camera, I would have been great with it. How long has it been since your last uh, job? Uh, we had a heist this morning. You did? Yep. <laughs> Wait, so you said it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <couple> hours. <laughs> so you lose the skills? Well, if no, no, no. It's, like, it's been even a while since I hours? haven't roped a camera. Oh, You've only okay. roped cameras. I've, I've been roped okay. cameras like all the... Yeah. So I haven't yeah. roped a bottle. Boy, it's been years. Yeah. So you, okay, so how was your heist this morning? How'd drink straight beer and never really good. get the rope to We didn't have Safe Cracker with us. We didn't have <laughs> Masky. So we, it's going to be dangerous Oh, for so us. you didn't have any masks Wait, on? is Masky in charge of giving you all masks? Well, what Masky does is he whips his hands quickly in front of our face, creating sort of a mm, blur. I notice uh, a common verb everybody uses. <laughs> you whip the cameras off the wall. Spoonie whips spoons around. Yeah. And then yeah. Masky whips his hands around. <laughs> well, I'm not a writer. I mean, I don't know why you're attacking. <laughs> Attacking my word usage. Yeah, he's not I mean? Elmore Leonard here. Yeah, I'm not know? like, I'm not the, I don't like write the histories of the, of the no, you I, know, I, I'm not, that's not my thing. I'll yeah. rope it up. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I got stuck on whip. Thank yeah, you, I think, Gino. I think your story has third act problems. <laughs> Well, so, we got a lot of critics here. Uh, you, you, once you graduated school, Gino, you became a real snob about words. A real, uh, real was, Richard Ropey. I was just <laughs> wondering, everyone, everyone's whipping shit around. I just wondered, did you have a whippy? Yeah, we have a whippy guy. Yeah. yeah. That's oh, I'm sorry. Yes, we did. Is, have that. is whippy also? And is, is he, he in charge upset of whippets? That everyone whips stuff. Yeah, I guess he gets a little jealous. He's like, yeah. "Whoa, guys, that's my thing. Yeah. Relax." <laughs> Um, so you, so you, no safe cracker today. We no, had no safe cracker today, no so we didn't, we didn't finish. No masks, so we'll <laughs> so. probably have some questions to answer. Although I think we'll be able to just pass it off as mischief because we didn't actually take anything from the bank. <laughs> Although you know vandalism with the yeah, uh, the cameras off the walls. Don't yeah. be so relieved that we didn't actually take anything. <laughs> <laughs> that that plays a lot into uh, sentencing strong, guidelines. Is relief? Friend. Yeah, yeah. What, cops, they, they think you rob anything. It's like, why not? We just oh, we were so relieved. The big well. <laughs> Yeah, you're almost like uh, Buzzkill at this point. Like, a, yeah, it's like a disappointment. Yeah, or yeah. Buzz Lightyear. That's someone you should look up as well. Buzz Lightyear. I'm yeah. Really- oh, and look up Buzz's girlfriend, Woof. Woof. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After you've watched Full House and Fuller House, now, then you I can know, watch. You a Toy fan Star. of those shows? Love Fuller House. Never <laughs> seen the original. I wasn't aware there was anything before it. I was like a rich backstory to did, this complicated universe. <laughs> what did you think the the word Fuller referred to then? I, I thought it was like, like the Brian last Fuller? name of the characters. Oh, okay. Oh, you thought everyone's name was, even though I they're constantly why else saying. Why would you call it Fuller House? I was like, I guess this was originally owned by some Fuller company. <laughs> right, like an architect named Fuller designed the house. Yeah, or Tanner's Fuller brushes yeah, or something yeah. like that. I didn't know what was going <laughs> right. on. Right. Uh, maybe it'd be revealed in the last episode. I kind of saw it as a mystery. A lot of people don't talk about Fuller brushes anymore. <laughs> you know, I find it a frequent, interesting topic of conversation. <laughs> Fuller brushes. You guys never that's had Fuller a, brushes? That's a thing that people used to talk about in the 70s, perhaps. They that... sold door to door. Just a well-made brush. I think they're still relevant. <laughs> Put that on your list, Cleopatra. Okay. Yeah. Fuller, Fuller brushes. Fuller brushes. brushes. Yeah. Fuller brushes. Yep. Uh, now, so who else is in the gang? Because I'm really enjoying oh. the amount of people. Because I'm trying to figure out when if if you yeah you who mentioned else is a twelve a, time safe cracker and you mentioned a twelve and thirteen member gang yeah so. we usually got a, a guy named Flat Hands Flat Hands what his, is he well his hand this is a sad story his hands were mangled mm. in a farm uh, machine okay of 
So they were undetermined cut, uh, nature. They were cut off. No, and flattened. No. They were just flattened into like an iron sort of platter shape. Your guess for <laughs> flat hands is that his hands were cut off. Well, no, but I mean, you <laughs> mentioned the machines. You sure, mentioned a farm sweet. machine. Uh, There's yeah. not really a lot of farm machines that are just it was like steamrollers. I remember it now. It was a hay baler. Okay, and it tried to bale his hands okay. into a square. <laughs> Oh. Now that's tragic because he has no articulation of fingers or thumbs. So did they like turn mouths. out like a two-dimensional square? They, they yes, he's sort of flattened into a, a round, flat square, which are good like platter. A, a round like, square. Yeah. Well, I'm no writer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Circle plate. Oh, that's right. Yeah, plates. Plates. He's got like two plate-like uh, appendages. And what he is can, he good for? Hitting people. Because <laughs> he could, he could whip them things around, and he's got. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he's like he's paddling people in other yeah. words he's yeah. like spanking people yeah and he's better at punching people because his hands are big flat <laughs> surface area is an underrated part of punching like well, you also I would it's imagine it's hard for him to miss yeah it's he a lot would, like a fly swatter too you can get you know uh, I, I would imagine the wind resistance though would be bad for it. You know, yeah, he's, he not have... good, he's not good in a long arc situation. Yeah. <laughs> but just for quick jabs, flat hands gets in there and just like quick punches to the tellers, and they're like knocked unconscious. Yeah. Speaking of long arc situations, Raiders of the Lost Ark, you got to watch right, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's yeah. that word the, play again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. You know, I've seen the arc. sort of. You've seen the. You saw the arc oh, of the I covenant. Saw the arc of the covenant. Yeah, I like hung out with it. Hung a real out with casual it. Yeah, situation? We, yeah, just like, I put my feet on it. We Whoa. were just hanging out, and I was sitting down. You used it as just, an ottoman? We used it as an ottoman and put some drinks on it. Oh, my God. Did yeah. anything ever come out of it? And uh, Oh, yeah, some very scary ghost-like things mm. melted some of my friends' faces. But then I was fine. Well, I were was you not casual. looking at it? I wasn't looking at it. Mm. I was looking away. What were you looking at? Uh, Attila the Hun. <laughs> He was around? He was around. Your lack of curiosity saved your ass in this situation. <laughs> right, <laughs> looking right. in the ark, I think, is bad news. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What were you looking at Attila the Hunt for? Oh, my God. Like a, as a potential partner? He had those V's. Right above the V's. Right above the V's. Yeah. Right above the Yeah. Like had, Brad Pitt in Fight Club? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, he had those, those V's, and I just I think, cannot. I, 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 think I, think we call, I think they're called cum gutters. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, they were in ancient Greece. I, I thought didn't back know if then I was that, to that, say that that the uh, the what was conventionally attractive were, was people of a, a more girth. Ew, that's sick. <laughs> that's disgusting. I think Illinois and Overweight Tennessee people are, make me ew. sick. I would have them killed. I'm trying Any to think fa- the, no fatties. <laughs> All right, look, cum gutters <laughs> of the American states. I'm gonna guess Tennessee and, Illinois, and uh, Kentucky. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Like the cum Oklahoma gutters. maybe because it's it's Got shaped it's like one of those. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just geographic. Yeah. This is yeah. no aspersions on the oh. residents. Okay, yeah. look, we have to take a break. When we come back, we'll hear the rest of your gang, hopefully. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, great. All right. Yeah. We'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang. Q ads. <laughs> Everyone, I got to tell you about Stamps.com this week. Uh, and, and when I say I got to tell you, I don't mean they're forcing me to tell you. I mean I have to because I'm so excited about it. Stamps.com, they are one of our oldest uh, sponsors our greatest sponsors. I'm going to take a sip of water. Is that unprofessional? I don't know. Mm. Ah, that's the stuff. Your body's made up of, uh, what, like 73% of it? You got to refresh sometimes. But that's not what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about stamps.com. If you drink water, you can lick the stamps way easier. <laughs> Great way to tie it in. Um, what What is stamps.com? If you have been living under the rock uh, in his guest house and don't know what stamps.com is, let me tell you about it. Stamps.com brings all of the amazing services of the U.S. Postal Service right to your fingertips. And, And your fingertips are what you use to touch things. So that is very convenient. Um, simply create your stamps.com account in minutes online. And then you can buy and print official U.S. postage for any letter, any package, any class of mail, from postcards to envelopes to packages, domestic to international. They cover it all, all using your own computer and printer. It's just, um, and I've said this many times, it's a click print mail and you're done situation. That's how easy it is. Stamps.com is so easy, they will even send you a digital scale, which, uh, you know, you don't want to be guessing of like, uh, I think this looks heavy. I'll just put $50 worth of stamps on it. No, that's a waste of money. They're going to send you a scale that automatically calculates the exact postage. 
They will even help you decide the best class of mail based upon your needs. No need to lease an expensive postage meter, and there are no long-term commitments, which is great for a commitment phobe like myself. Stamps.com, we've been using it for, I, f- I feel like it's been seven years at this point here at Earwolf. They're the greatest. Uh, y- you got to use it. Um, they make it everything so easy. And right now, you too can enjoy the Stamps.com service with a special offer. How special is this offer? Let's check it out. A four-week trial? Yeah, pretty special. I'd like to use Stamps.com for four weeks. Plus postage? Whoa, sweetening the pot here. And a digital scale? Get out of here! Seriously, get out of here. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, type in Bang Bang. That's Stamps.com, enter Bang Bang, and I will never say anything bad about the post office, but I will also never see you there. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang back here. Gino Cut and as Roll Scott. Cleopatra as well. <laughs> And uh, we're talking to Idaho about his gang. Glad uh, we, to be here. We've uh, offered my services, by the way, if anybody's looking to hire some muscle. Sure, yeah. Uh, are you muscular? Uh, uh, no, but I do have an, a muscular effect on, a, on an operation. On a camera. My ropes are my muscle. Yeah. Sure, yeah. You're brawn. You bring brawn to yeah, it. I'm yeah, not, mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not part of the brains. Yeah. Okay, Mastermind so. Mastermind is the member of our gang who sort of. Mastermind is part of your gang? Yeah, he's in charge of the planning and the details. Okay. He's a real brainy Does type. he stay at home or does. No, he comes along. He comes along. <laughs> he direct because we can't remember anything. Yeah, he'll so, be direct. I'll walk in. He'll be like Idaho cameras. Oh, and I you can't remember that thing, thing, the one thing you do. Yeah. Every- well, I'm not. I don't want to assume. So wait a minute. I'm so, ready for him to ask me to do something else, but that tends to be where he directs. So me. what happened with Mastermind today when he forgot to have a safe? safe he was cracker. just like, well, right at the end of it, we looked at him and he was like, egg on my face, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I screwed up. Does he need to change his nickname? He should, but his his humbleness really <laughs> endears him to us because. <laughs> You know what? He admits it when he screws up. Yeah, That's he, all he you blew can it. Ask of he just forgot to get safe crack. He doesn't get defensive. No, he's got no ego in the game. Really? What's That's a, nice to hear. Yes, you don't see people apologize that much. Yeah, we have a guy in our gang who's just in charge of apologies. Oh, really? He just <laughs> yeah. wrangles apologies. Yeah, his name is Henry. <laughs> really? And he, he just doesn't need a nickname because he doesn't do anything. Henry too is illegal. his nickname. Oh, okay. I don't oh. know what his real name is. And he whips up apologies. He whips them out. <laughs> If the gang, if we, anybody has to apologize on behalf of the gang, we're like Henry, get eat shit, and he steps out front and he does it. Does he <laughs> apologize to the banks when you're done with them? Yeah, when the banks are like, "What was that for? You broke in, <laughs> punched our tellers in the face, whipped all them cameras out of here, yeah, the and then there's a guy with the whip doing nothing, yeah. and you took nothing." And we're like Henry. He's like, "We are so sorry." <laughs> how many we of are your so sorry? How many of your heists have been successful? Oh, we've had a number of them. Uh, what what is that number? Let me count. <laughs> That one didn't do anything. That one didn't. Hang on. I remember, we definitely got money a couple but times. Let me t- let me ask you. Zero is a number. No, no. It's higher than zero. It's higher than zero. One. One. One yeah. has been successful. Yep. Our okay. first one. Your first one. Describe that, that one. Okay. It was uh, the first federal bank of West Hartford, Connecticut. Were you planning on going to, for the next ice, the second federal bank and then yeah, the first we'll federal go bank? Yeah, we're in order. Yeah. yeah okay. We're like, this will be easy. They've <laughs> laid them out for us in a sure. nice list. Went to the first federal bank. Uh, let me see. Uh, Dory opened the doors. <laughs> we, Dory, wait, was it? Uh, she's an not, animated fish. Yeah, yeah <laughs> an animated fish is a member of our gang. Um, she opened the doors, and by the way, she ain't great at it. Really, <laughs> she's not adept at handling doors. Well, I would imagine she's used to someone opening doors for her. Yeah, she has no like thumbs. But wait, she not, has no thumbs. And Dory? you're all thumbs when it comes to guns. <laughs> when yeah. it comes to guns, I'd be. You're all guns. I, I'm all guns. So I um, open. <laughs> Dory opens the door. We come sliding in. I whip off the cameras after Master When you say Mike you come sliding in, what does that mean? Like we get a run up. We don't have <laughs> shoes on. Okay. Because bank floors are usually shiny. So I come uh, with a lot of speed, need, yeah. slide, <laughs> right. surf style. Mm. And say, ta you, you guys risky business into the bank? Yeah, we mm-hmm. all come in. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> are you in your underwear as well? I am, but that's optional. <laughs> Mastermind. Uh, indicates, tells me, all right, Idaho, cameras. Right. And I whip off the cameras. Choo, right. choo, choo, choo. No this is more the evidence. first one. This is the first national bank. This is bank. the first one. First national okay. bank, West Hartford, Connecticut. Right. Mask. Masky, and he comes in and he blurs he our blurs, hands, which yeah. isn't necessary because there's no <laughs> photographic evidence. Also, yeah. this was in the early 90s, so nobody had, like, cameras. Yeah, also it should have been done before. So your one good heist was in the early 90s? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Spooning ricochets some spoons off the wall, deposits How early in the 90s are we talking? Are we 91? Talking? 
<laughs> okay. I was into the Spin Doctors, non-ironically. Right. That's what I remember. Tribe Called Quest, Indigo Girls. These mm-hmm. are the songs that we were listening to. <laughs> In the drive over. Yeah. Well, we yeah. had huge fights over what to play on the stereo. See, that's why it's all over the map like that. <laughs> Closer to Fine was like, that we could all agree on. Mm-hmm. No um, Jagged Little Pill yet. Not yet. Nope. Boy, was that in a revelation. Ooh, yeah. I can't wait. So you didn't really understand that they were sing- she was singing about Dave Coulier because you had never seen Full House at that point. To this day, I'd never known which. I mean, I knew she was mad at somebody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You don't really need to know that to enjoy the song. Yeah, you don't I have to know that do. it's Uncle Joey she blew in the movie theater. <laughs> I think that makes it worse now yeah, that it's I kind know of, that. Yeah, it kind of takes the teeth out That's of it. That's like, this is the guy you got so way. upset about? <laughs> uh, so I come sliding in, and then Safecracker goes in and opens the vault, and then- um, What's Safecracker? Is That's his nickname? That's his, his her? given Christian name. Oh, okay. <laughs> Safecracker? Yeah. Safe, no, Safecracker's his first name, okay. and his last name is Wellman. Wellman. <laughs> Safecracker Wellman. <laughs> okay. Who, just by through fittingness, got yeah. into that, that line of work. Well, it's like Thomas we Crapper. Bleep his last you know, name. He, Thomas Crapper invented the toilet. Beep his last name. Would you mind, Gino? It'd be yeah, bad if anybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Make sure you do that. Otherwise, I'm not going to give you college credit. <laughs> All right, I'll make sure I do it. Don't okay. you worry. <laughs> so, Safecracker Wellman. Uh, so Safecracker got in there. What what happened? He opened the vault. He just opened. He cracked it. Yeah. Easy. How does he do it? He's a whiz. I mean, he's got computers and he's got a... Computers? Because a lot of these locks in are 91? electronic. What's that? In 91. Sure, they had computers. He brought like a huge desktop? Yeah, like a Mac <laughs> Classic that he wheeled up on a cart. We were like, what are you doing? He's like, trust me. He attached an Ethernet cable to like the network... He interrogated the tellers to get passwords, opened up the time lock. Okay, we were like, so this he, guy's great. He just interrogated the tellers. Yeah. Basically, they gave him the password. They gave him the password. He okay, typed anyone could do Mac. that. I suppose the Mac Classic on reflection was irrelevant. <laughs> right. Look, this wasn't, I was out of the picture at this point. I'd sure. already taken care Wait, of the Wait, you've gone home? Yeah, I went. I left. I was like, let me know how this goes. <laughs> do you guys take separate rides home from the bank robbery? Well, it's better to not get caught. Oh, yeah, right. that makes split sense. up. If split you remember up. in Heat, they all like went different ways. The bank robbery movie with uh, Pacino and <laughs> right. Uh, but you had not seen Heat. Great ass. That, yeah, that wasn't out yet. So yeah, we didn't you had have not that. seen it at that no. point. Yeah, <laughs> but for reference. In retrospect, I'm like, that's yeah. how we should have done. When it. you saw Heat, you were like, boy, These that's guys what we are did. Good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, where's the rope trick guy? They don't need it because they all had guns. <laughs> right. <laughs> And De Niro no one, had a, no one had a rope a handgun in that movie, though, did they? And I was saying, when I was watching the movie, I was like, you know how you'd beat these guys? You'd bring <laughs> yeah. a gun and a rope. <laughs> right. And one of the cops had, like, a Pacino had a gun and a rope. Oh, man. That, the gang just would have fell down. Yeah, the movie would have been over after, like, 15 <laughs> It'd be minutes. like a 15-minute movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that would knock three hours off the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only, yeah. So, a bit long, safe, but safe cracker I, gets in nice there. Build. Um, safe cracker gets in there. He gets the money. We all get it passed out. So this is, we should all do this. We never saw safe cracker again. You've mentioned like five or six of the members of this twelve or thirteen. You want them person all? gang? Who else is there, and what are their roles? Uh, we got uh, plastic bags. Okay. Oh, for the money to be <laughs> for put the in. money, and also he just is good organizer in general. Oh, really? Uh huh. He, he's better than mastermind. <laughs> Oh, he's Ma- just good, well, Mastermind good is occupied with organ- a big picture. We can't have him get lost he's in the details. He's little picture. Yeah, he's more like micro little picture. <laughs> yeah. Well, just organizing, like, he'll separate the food into little bags, and, like, <laughs> he'll have, like— What food? What's well, the food? What's the food? <laughs> He'll have the carrots in one little bag and the onions yeah. over here. You want to make sure your blood sugar doesn't go down. Carrots and onions. Carrots and onions. Yeah. <laughs> You're not hungry for onions? You've never had raw onions? <laughs> on a fucking gig? You're like, You're on in a hurry. <laughs> you can't, like, make a sandwich. You got to open up a bag of onions. Aren't just... you afraid you're going to, like, tear up during the, <laughs> well, I, during the heist? If you look emotional, people feel sorry for you. I don't know. <laughs> people are so scared of vulnerability. <laughs> You know, and like, why not just be ready to apologize? Be ready to cry. That's one of the problems sure. with most gangs is it's all alpha, alpha, right, alpha. Right. You guys we are got, all betas. We're mostly submissive men. <laughs> <laughs> so you said you never saw a safe cracker after this first case. We did never he, saw him after. He left our gang. He left, did, like, he did he abscond did he with all the money? <laughs> no, no, we got it. We got our fair share uh, you did. of that. What's yeah. your fair share? Of Ten dollars. Ten dollars. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I and think he may have taken off with the lion's share. Well, he so so it, far that guy's a whiz. since 1991, you've made ten dollars and was <laughs> on the f- well <laughs> through heists. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah. Where, yeah. what's your primary source of income? House painting, <laughs> um, cleaning. I'll do odd jobs. Sure. How odd? <laughs> uh, pretty odd. Pretty strange. Yeah. What, what's the strangest job you've ever done? Well, just in terms of, I didn't know why I was doing it. Somebody once made me go into their house and smooth all their carpet so the piles were going in one direction. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I thought it was odd. Yeah. But it was 20 bucks, so what am I going to say? Twice I, the amount that you got for a, a risking your life in a bank I was like, this is a better robbery. line of work. 
Yeah. I was like, you want to see rope tricks or just, just smooth out the carpet? It was like a real OCD fella. Mm, hmm, interesting. So I went in there and smoothed out the carpet just all so the I had to do that one, one time when I was growing up. My friend's uh, uncle had me over to smooth out all the carpet, and I was just there for like six hours on. Yep. And I, he said, I can't get any fabric on any of the carpet, so he had me fully nude. That's what I had to do. Yeah, and I was just flat. Yeah, I was fully all. naked smoothing out the oh, carpet. Oh, for $20. $20, baby. How much did you Say, get, baby, Gino? I got $26. Oh. Ooh, you're yeah. a good negotiator. I yeah, I asked for I asked for a tip at the end after what he did to Oh, me. that's <laughs> smart. I'm always embarrassed to do that. After what he did? What did he do? He did the thing, you know, where you pick somebody up when they're in like a cannonball position and uh-huh. you throw them in the air and let them spin and they either land mouth first or yeah, ass first. Yeah, I've done that. The cannonball I've done run. That. Yeah, the cannonball run. Yeah, well, R.I.P. <laughs> yeah. Bert. Sure. R.I.P., yeah. A little late, by the way. <laughs> Even later, the R.I.P. Dom. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You're finally getting around to it. I've been waiting for you. I wonder who the last member at Cannonball Run will be to survive. Oh, man. Oh, Jackie Chan's going to live forever. <laughs> Sammy and Dean are gone, but yeah, Jackie will be around forever. Uh, wasn't there a Burt Convoy? <laughs> was one of the, who's Burt the guy Convy? That, yeah, hosted a yeah. title tale. Carl, uh, Card Sharks as well. Yeah, yeah, great guy. Yeah, yeah. you, you <laughs> don't hear a lot about him, nor Fuller Brushes all well, that much, yeah. unless you're of a certain age. Unless I find two myself to be a real start. relevant person. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, who, who else is in the gang? Let's just wrap up. Because uh, I had plastic bags. We got a, um, uh, Stanley Drives. Oh, Stanley. Getaway guy. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, uh, uh, is that a nickname? Or? Nope. Some of these Stanley. guys are just normal. Uh, uh, Mark yeah. does explosives. Mark. Whoa. We never used him. <laughs> yeah. But he's an expert in explosives. Yeah. Does, uh, he, does he bring them to a job? Yeah, he's always ready. He's like, guys, he's ready to go. I could make. I, let me blow up this, like the times when we don't have safe cracker. He's does like, he have a catchphrase like "on your mark, get set, go" <laughs> nah, with the explosives? I'll, no. I'll run it by him. So yeah. you're <laughs> saying on the times when you don't have safe cracker. So every single time after the since first since '91, <laughs> Mark is like, "You sure?" <laughs> You could blow up that safe, but then it, you run the risk of blowing up the money as well. Yeah, we're like, let's not. We don't want to get these people mad. Yeah, uh, it's good to have a guy who has explosives, whether you use them or not. It's that's always what I good always to, say. Yeah, might as sure. well have a friend. Be yeah. prepared. I mean, you know, if you bring explosives to a gunfight. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I guess gun plus rope would be beaten by by explosive. C four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, explosives would beat rope plus gun. All right, yeah. let me add that to my okay, little great. list. Got it. All right. Who we else all, do we have? Uh, uh, Amanda is a, a <laughs> yoga teacher, and she's sort of flexible and good for like w- you know winnowing through. I don't know what the right verb is. Through yeah, like it, it's vents. Whip. I believe it's whip. oh yeah, whipping <laughs> through vents. <laughs> Uh, or a like lot of com- vent work in these bank jobs? <laughs> Not yet, but if anybody yeah. has to sneak through the ducks, I think Amanda would be right. the person to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, she, and she can sort of compress herself into duffel bags and get mailed places. Right. Does she, yeah. does she teach you guys yoga at all? No. No, okay. I so wish. She, That'd be great. She charges for... Yeah, it's too expensive. It's like $50 a session. I'm like, I'd have to have four more bank guys <laughs> just to be able to do that. So I have to have one bank guys, two carpet smoothings, and then I can finally afford one <laughs> yoga class. Yeah, I, I mean... Times are tough. <laughs> they are tough for you. You're not, you're not doing well, huh? No, I'm not having trouble with financially. Yeah. Uh, well, I well once, now you're doing podcasts, so you're going to be well, making I'm just money trying, in no I'm, time. The, somebody <laughs> said to me, get your get your word out there. I was like, like the photo brush salesman? They're like, no, <laughs> sure. more modern. Do podcasts. Did you go from door to door? I used to go door to door and be like, and I, you know, do, you need, have, do you have any cameras on the walls? <laughs> yeah, do you need any of these things removed? And I'd, I was like, hey, People you want usually to put them up. They pay someone to put up the cameras. They but what if you're t- – and I expanded my skill set. I was like, you sick of these fire alarms? And I could, mm. like, get rid of those? People No, people need those. <laughs> well, sometimes they're annoying if the battery gets low and you can't change it. This beeps forever. Yeah, that's true. In that situation. Mm-hmm. And plus, just rope tricks are impressive. I'm like, maybe you just want a demonstration of rope skill. Like, sure. Like, I'll, right now, let me whip Okay, this. let's see. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh Jesus! Right. Stop, Stop grabbing just the gun. The, yeah. <laughs> I think the, the guns will look so good. Uh, well, uh, uh, you're ro- the guy who whipped all the smoke alarms out of that nursing home where all the <laughs> yeah. people okay. died of that fire. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> It didn't go well. I was like, "You trust me, you'll thank me later, which they didn't. And I got Henry over, and I'm like, I owe you an apology. <laughs> well, look, Idaho, you're a fascinating guy. Hey, I hope, thank you so much. I hope everything goes well for you. What a nice you. thing to say. Uh, but we're running out of time. We just have one last feature here on the show, and it is a little something called plugs. 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 Ooh. Damn. 
Very that nice. That's good. That's cool. That was, that was great. Cool. That was Plugs that's... Please by Lilith Rose Garden. Oh, I got into it. That's yeah. like a portmanteau. That's a, have you heard much music since you've been out? Uh, that's kind of the beginning. That's and the then first so that's, Jurassic That was music. World. That was, yes. Okay, that's Gino, music. that was music. All right, yeah. now you... I have an idea. Now, so I should All take music that All music sounds like that. I've heard, I've heard music before. Okay, yes. yes yeah. I've watched Jurassic Blade Park. and Blade 2. You guys... <laughs> <laughs> you guys should really get together and listen to some albums. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah. Let's start with Offspring Smash. <laughs> <laughs> Offspring Smash. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds good. Um, all right. What are we plugging, guys? Uh, Gino, do you have anything to plug here? I stumbled upon a new podcast that's, uh, well, it's not new. It's old, but it's new to me. And yeah. it's uh, Behind the Paywall, which is always fun because that means it's high quality. And um, <laughs> so if you go to actionboys.biz, B-O-Y-Z dot biz, it's these three white. Act- so action. B O Y Z dot B O Y Z dot B I Z Action Boys dot Biz or dot Pat- Biz dot Boys or, or Patreon dot com slash Action Boys mm-hmm. one word and these guys it's so cool I can't get it anywhere else it's three white straight men talking about <laughs> movies wow and there's literally no other place to find that so it's for me it's fucking great finally someone with my opinions out there espousing movies great <laughs> yeah it's very exciting all right so listen to that uh, Cleopatra anything to plug oh yeah I got something on my list uh, it's a, also a Podcast. Oh. Uh, and it's called uh, Horny for Horror. Oh. <laughs> So now is this three straight white white guys as well, or no? It's one uh, one adorable gay man, one straight white man, and one woman. Wow. Okay. And they're all and they sexually aroused. Like, they're all horny for horror. They just love horror so much, and you should check it out. Okay. Because it's um, yeah. Come on. Yeah, it's come good. on. Yeah, really, you're really so you've heard, you've heard yeah, this on. podcast before you've. I haven't heard it. It's on my list. I'm okay. excited oh my to listen to it. For fuck's sake, it. come on. Come on. Okay. Uh, and uh, Idaho, anything to plug for you? Yeah, also a podcast uh, mm. called Screw It. We're just going to talk about Spider Man, <laughs> oh, two that- straight white men, <laughs> and better than you, talking about old comic books. <laughs> that was the one that I was talking about Fancy Dan on. That's right. <laughs> well, I haven't heard it. <laughs> But uh, my friends, uh, my friends say it's good, so I okay. say check that out. Uh, I want to plug uh, Freedom every Thursday. You can hear Ooh. me and Paul F. Tompkins and Lauren Lapkus, and that's for free out there on the Earwolf feed. So go, oh, to, uh, sick. yeah, sick. Freedom's a, a pun in oh, itself. That's mm-hmm. sick. Oh, and I, uh, I also want to plug PCAST Blast is coming up in uh, December, December fifteenth, Saturday. Um, we have Comedy Bang Bang with special guests Paul F. Tompkins, Lauren Lapkus, and other special guests. We also have Doughboys, the Andy Daly podcast pilot project, Off Book, the improvised musical, Throwing Shade, and Teacher's Lounge, the hit from Stitcher Premium, which is also available now. That's December 15th um, at the Theater at the Ace Hotel here in Los Angeles. VIP uh, packages are available to meet all of us and uh, for seats right up front. Uh, Go head on over to my Twitter. The link to buy tickets is at the top in the pin tweet. All right, let's close up the old plug bag. It's me, Charles. Oh, Charles, what are you doing here? I just stepped out of the Speed Force. No one else can hear me or see me except you. Okay, hi, Charles. Hi. First of all, I'm lost. Second. (laughs) Fencing instructor. I got lost in the Speed Force in this building. Okay, yeah. Uh, am I going to be at the Big Cast Blast? No. All right. Goodbye. All right. Bye. Let's close up the old. Speed Force Thanksgiving. All right. Close up the old plug bag. Whoa, what a bag. It's time to open it. It's time. Right, guys, I want to thank our guests. Uh, Cleopatra, so fascinating to meet you. Please come oh. back and tell us uh, how your your quest to become acclimated to the modern world goes. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here, Ribbit. It really made my <laughs> journey fun. I can't wait to find out more about everything yeah. modern. And we also can't wait to, for you to break out into song, oh, being yeah. as you don't know any music oh, yeah. <laughs> other than our plug songs. Plugs, 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 plugs. <laughs> plug. You oh, like wow. that? Da, da. She's dancing. Hold it up, you plus. She's lifting up her top hat up and down. Um, 
Idaho, thanks so much oh, to you. It's a pleasure. Uh, sorry to hear you're going through such tough times. Oh, I appreciate uh, the sympathy. Thank please you so don't much. whip the guns around uh, <laughs> no anymore. No problem. Uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm telling one. you, do you want to come work for me? Yes. Okay. What do you pay? Uh, I'm still working on what money is. <laughs> do you have any? I work it out. Yeah. Do you have any gold from back in the I Egyptian days? I do. Days? I got some gold. Do you have a secret hoard somewhere that you I stored? Have such a secret all over the world. Really? Yeah. You know they found most of the gold everywhere. I don't know if you've been keeping up with the news. <laughs> they did. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe oh, you have a more shit. secret place. Where? What, oh, what's one of your shit. most secret places? Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they found. Yeah, it. you're fine. Oh, you're fine. Shit. <laughs> all right. Shit. G- Gino. Thanks to you. Hey, thanks for having uh, me. I hope your mom turns out okay. Uh, oh, yeah. They don't tear check. down your childhood home. I should get back there because my dad, uh, my stepdad, my uncle is not yeah. there to feed her. So I got to get back there and <laughs> hit her up. I've been gone for nine and a half months coming yes. here. <laughs> yeah. I better get back there ASAP. And, you, and you've had the gerbils as well. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to be in charge. I, I think she's okay because I put a few in there when I left just to like <laughs> keep the process going. You think going. she'll be all right? <laughs> now, is there a quicker way back to uh, New York rather than just taking the routes through the song Kokomo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't reverse Kokomo. It. Don't reverse Kokomo? <laughs> no. Oh, God, I haven't had a reverse Kokomo since <laughs> freshman year. All right. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening. And remember, meet Sonos Beam, the smart, compact sound bar for your TV. Beam lets you play everything you love from music and radio to movies, TV, podcasts, and more, all with rich sound that fills the room. It's super simple to set up, but if... You don't want to bother. Sonos will send someone to do it for you. That's right. If you live in any major metropolitan area, Up and Running will have a Sonos expert deliver and set up your system absolutely free. I have a Beam, and it was really convenient because they sent out a dude to install it, and it was the easiest thing in the world. I just sat there, and I kicked back, and I just relaxed And I felt really rich for about one hour of my day. It was great. Um, Just order from Sonos.com and select Up and Running at checkout if you qualify. Hey, this is Arnie from the comedy podcast Hello from the Magic Tavern, a chat show I host from the magical land of Foon with my co-hosts... Usador, the Blue Wizard. And Chuck, the Shapeshifter. Most weeks we interview adventurers... Wedding planners. Ambulatory trees. But this week we have a special episode. I am so excited to learn about the Earth lore contained in Pride and Prejudice. We're going to do a book club of Pride and Prejudice. And you say this is a well-loved book on Earth, right? Yeah, it's one of those books that people love or were forced to read or more likely it's one of those I'm gonna get to it. And some of our most beloved guests are returning to read the book with us and enjoy some drinks and food over book club. We have Flower, we have Crom the Barbarian. And Germ. You know who they are. Maybe you don't give a crap about what an academic thinks about Jane Austen, but don't you want to know what a wizard and a badger think about it? Not enough spells. Not enough grubs. Not, Not enough, enough sword fights. fights. Whether you love Pride and Prejudice or have no interest in reading it and just want to listen to a book club go really off the rails, you'll enjoy this week's Hello from the Magic Tavern. We shall defeat this book!